Here we are in the twin span, middle of the summer. This is kind of an odd place for us to be, but the lake has been completely filthy with fresh river water. It's starting to clean up a hair, and usually when you have Pearl River water and you know local river water is an issue, the southern parts of the bridges have potential. So we gave it a little look, catching a few fish. Here's a nice keeper trout. See what we can do here. In them poles. Out them poles. All right, now don't go to the other side of the poles. Jeez. Oh, and I missed him. That, I didn't break him. That's what we want to do. That had to be a red. When we're fishing the twin span of these other bridges, especially in the summer, and it's got redfish in it, I switched to our Matrix, seven, our Matrix Mono 17 pound test. That way you can horse these fish out the poles a little bit better. And if, it, if the line does rub on the poles somewhat, it's a little bit more, you know, it can handle a little rub or a little abrasion and you have a better chance of not breaking off. You know, a lot of times you hook these fish, they dive straight back for the pilings. So having that, going from a 14 pound to a 17 pound test, there's a tremendous, tremendous difference. And I highly recommend going to a 17 mono or maybe using a braid when you're trying to bury that lure up into the, these pollens very tightly. Let me make one more cast right here and see if we can pull one out. When you're doing this, you want to use at least a 3 8 ounce. I, I really like to use a half ounce. That way it gets down to the bottom as fast as you can because you're wanting to get it in between each set of pilings. And when you're fishing the southern part of the bridge like we are right now, you want to do it on a very light tide range or in the change in tide. Right here in this area, the tide can really smoke through here. So you want to catch it when that tide's nice and mellow. Again, that's why you want to use that 17 pound test. I hit that fish right up in the poles. I'm going to be able to get him out. Got a little red. This is perfect. This is just what we're looking for. They hit that lure. They go straight into the poles. You got that 17 major tomato. It's like rope. You can yank them out of there. We go over this a lot. Throughout the year of using that, when to use that matrix mono, this is one of the best times when they got redfish in the poles. Now, as far as the lure goes, we're using one of my favorites. That's the Glass Minnow X Shan. Usually in the summer, we talk about shrimp. The brown shrimp season this year has been almost non existent. I haven't seen that much pogies. Glass minnows are always around like Pontchartrain. Train. This is a great glass minnow imitation. Fantastic bait. We're getting a lot of bites this morning. And what's been a very tough summer so, so far. Oh, another speck. That was the keeper. What we're doing right now, we got a little light falling tide. So it real, it's light enough where it don't matter if you put, throw it down current or up current. But what we are noticing is these fish are wanting to be real tight to the poles. And we're just moving around, keeping this lure as tight to the poles as we can. And we're catching a plethora of different things. We've caught some keeper trout. That was a keeper there. Some throwback specks. Some nice reds. Some small drum. There's a lot of fish down here right now. Great place to fish with some kids. One of the reasons we started here, as you can see in the distance, just rain every day. We want to stay somewhere sheltered until I can see a gap in the weather and maybe try something else. So we 
think it's staying up under here for this moment being. Yeah, live shrimp with a kid right now. You'd just be getting bite after bite after bite. I mean, we're throwing plastics that probably had 20 bites already this morning. And uh, just a great little place to anchor down and hang out, either stay out of the rain or stay out of the sun and get you some bites during the summertime. Let's see if we can get one right here. All right, whenever the tide's real mellow like this, this is how I like to fish this area. I like to throw it in between the pilings. You know, that way the tide's not moving fast enough to really hook you up or swipe, sweep you into the pile to get snagged. So I throw it right in between them. Let it get all the way to the bottom. And I just do short little bounces right through each little hole. Most of the time, that's where the fish like to be, is in between these bridge piles. Now, if the tide's moving relatively swift, you can't fish it at this angle. But when you catch that tide at the change like we have right now, it's a good place to be, it's a good place to target. This is the correct way to fish it, especially with lures. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and do something different. Had plenty of bites on the twin span. We could easily just milk this over and put a little box of fish together. We caught a handful, just wanted to show you something to do in the summer. Wanted to show you guys one of the items that'll be in this month's monthly bait box. And this is a great place to use this. You know, you use that monofilament. I'm a big fan of it. It's very easy to use. It, 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 it bird nests a lot less than fluorocarbon. Water stain like it is now. You definitely don't need fluoro. This is one of my favorite things to use is mono. And I'll go over when it's time to use fluoro or some type of braid. But we went to the 17 pound test. That way when we did hook into a couple of reds today, we can get them out the poles. This will be in your monthly bait box. The Matrix X Shad in the glass meadow color. That's one of my favorite products we've ever made at matrixshad.com. This is what we use just now to catch a handful of fish. Also be in this month's monthly bait box. Subscribe to that. Get these items in your box. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out all of our episodes of Doc, Doc, Doc Side TV. We have plenty of fish in the twin span. Some really good ones to catch a monster trout right in here in the wintertime. Hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. And until next time, good fishing. We're going to get out of here.